All right, so we got the king on the line right now, man. You already seen him, man. Out there putting in work on the battlegrounds, man. The L.A. battlegrounds, that is, man. They just released the battle, Yak the Ripper vs. Saint, on their YouTube channel. Y'all go ahead, go there, subscribe, and check it out. Show some love. We got the King Alcatraz on the line. What's going on with you, fam? What's good, champ? What's the deal, man? Talk to me. Oh, uh, man, we just sitting here chilling, man. You all with myself, Capo the Don, BP the blogger out there in the Northwest, and then we also have uh, King Malcolm, man. Okay. How you doing, fellas? Everybody good? What's, What's up, up Alcatraz, man? We good, man. Chilling, bro. All right, all right. Hey, man, I yeah, just wanted so to say not. this before y'all get... I want to say this before y'all get into it, man. Shout out to Alcatraz, man. That's from the Midwest to the West, bro. Like, I see you Ed doing love. your thing out here, man. You put it on for the West. You put it on for the culture also. You know what I mean? Right. And all your battles, all your events... It's been it's been very classical, bro, and I salute you for everything you're doing, bro. Hey, I I, I appreciate you guys, and uh, it wouldn't be right for me to take that credit like that by myself. And I want to say I thank you guys, uh, but you know it's a whole it's a team effort, you know what I'm saying? LABG media team, you know Woods, like you know everybody that's on the that maybe you guys don't necessarily see. All the time, there's a lot of people behind the scenes that make, make LABG what it is. So, you know what I mean? On, on behalf of LA Battlegrounds, we want to thank you guys for, for the love, man. Thank you. Thank you. 100, 100. But, um, you know, I, I just want to go ahead and start off with this, man. You guys released the Jack the Ripper first thing. Uh, out of yeah. FB Fire. Definitely a dope. Thank you. Definitely a dope look. Um, what, what, what's been the reaction thus far to the battle? Say that again. I was yeah. saying, um, you know, you guys that released the Yak the Ripper and uh, Saint uh, this morning. Uh, it's been, you know, a very uh, dope battle, fire battle. Uh, what's been the reaction so far? I mean, it seems like people are, are loving it. You know what I mean? Which is a good thing. It's a good thing. So. You know, everybody seems like they they liking it. They sh- they sharing it and they watching it. And you know, the views are building little by little. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, I think is a more than anything is the quality of the battle. And I think that's what a lot of times people lose in trying to put events together. Sometimes is quality of the battle, not just to put a battle, just to put a battle together and say I put a battle together, but to actually make a quality matchup. You get what I'm saying, and uh, you know, and, and, and you know, sometimes you, you, know, you get you get gems out of out of out of certain battles you don't even expect. Be real with you. Sometimes you you don't even expect it, and they and they and they and they they come up, and people just start talking about them. I think this one's still going to gain ground, to be honest with you. I think uh, it's just a little bit. It's going to need a little bit more time for people to watch it, but I think this one's a lot. Even even better than what people probably actually are saying. Okay, okay, yeah, battle is definitely definitely a dope look. Again, if anybody has not checked that out, man, please go to the LA Battlegrounds YouTube channel. Subscribe first of all. Check the battle out. Make sure you show love. Man. Check out all the other good content up on there as well. Um, with the Yak and Saint battle, though, man, there's been a lot of controversy. People debating about time. People debating about how battlers were reacting during it. Uh, what, what, what's your take on how everything's been going down? Say that one more time, bro. I'm kind of going out. Uh, I, I was saying, um, since the battle's been released, there, you know, there's been a lot of reactions, people saying it was a great battle and everything, and then there's always been the controversy where people are debating about the time situation or they're debating about yeah, yeah, battlers, yeah. you know, what they're doing to each other's round. Yeah. Uh, what's your take on that? I mean, like I always say, bro, I did a live video about that earlier. You know, the, the, the thing is, they pick their time. You know what I mean? They pick the time. I understand the whole thing about crowd reaction and all that, but the crowd reaction is the reason why I let them go longer than the actual time. Get what I'm saying? Like, sometimes I might not stop the clock, but still let them go over the time limit. 
it's not like we still stop. Like if they say three minutes, we don't stop it at three minutes. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, I try to be as fair as possible in terms of the time. You know, if one rapper went 340, the problem is, like, I think with the Yak situation, he wasn't looking at the time when it was on his. I wish he would have because if I remember correctly, he was almost at four minutes. We cut Sane off, you know, even though he said he still had a little bit more, He we cut Sane off at, like, 325, 330, somewhere around there. He he didn't even go as long as Yak did in that round. Like, I mean, you guys can time it yourself, and maybe I'm wrong, but that's what I remember. So... You know, I, I try to let them go as, as long as I as long as I can. You know what I mean? And, and you know, sometimes the other thing is too, you can't just let people rap forever either. I don't care how good the battle is. Like, we'll be sitting in there all night if we do that shit. Yeah. Some of these guys can some of these guys can rap for nine minutes and shit. Like, we're not we're not gonna do that. Like, that's why there's time limits. So, you know, me and Woods was talking about that earlier. You know what I mean? We might we might have to actually bring clocks, an actual a visual clock for people to see. Like a time clock. Mm, I remember back in the old URL, like the beginning of URL, they used to have the clock. And battlers back then they never still, had an issue. Like once the clock was out, it was done. Like that was it. And that's the thing. And that's that. That's the whole thing about it. But I think them too, they had a specific person watching the clock. And then they would stop the clock for, for – uh, for massive crowd reaction, not little small reaction. Like, man, we're not going to stop the clock for every ooh and ah either. You feel me? Like, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta get through your material. So, you know, if it's a massive eruption, though, then yeah, sure. You, you know, you give give them some extra time off of that. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, I want to ask this because I've been seeing, I've seen this in a couple groups. People are talking about it, and I've seen it on camera myself. But I don't, I, I don't know. I want to get clarity on it to make sure you know what I thought I saw was accurate. Um, there's some point in the battle, maybe around I don't know, ten forty eight, ten fifty, somewhere in there. It appears like you're asking Saint if he was done with this round or if he was over with his material at that point when you were getting ready to call mm-hmm. time and you said no and kept going. Was that what the conversation was or were you asking him something different at that time? No, yeah, I thought I thought he had finished his bar. I thought he was done with his round. Like I, and he goes, I have a little more. And even even then, bro, there's a difference between somebody that continues to rap for fucking another extra minute. I think he only spit like four more bars after that. Like it, mm. it didn't go that much longer. Like they more or less sticks to the time, bro. Like that's that's the thing. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not saying Yak doesn't, but I've I've watched Yak battle. Yak can rap for fucking four or five minutes, bro. Like he'll go. I don't know how he writes his material or what, but it's not timed at three minutes. Even with crowd reaction, I mean you're talking about four four an extra minute and a half to two minutes worth of material. That's a lot. That's a lot of material to have to wait for somebody else. Like it's different if it's just a couple more bars. Now, in all due respect, he said when I cut off him, cut him off at that one bar where he made the crowd go crazy, which I thought the round was over, his round was done too. You know what I mean? But then he didn't really fight with me about it, and then he was like, then he started rapping. I was gonna let him go because everybody was saying let him go anyway, and then he said he, I guess I messed him up or whatever, so he didn't continue to go. But I, I don't know. He said he only had a couple more bars, too, on for that round. So, you know, look, all I can say is, man, I try to stick to what we all discuss. I do the best I can and try to be fair as possible, and I'm not going to make everybody happy. Sometimes, you know, motherfuckers is going to get upset and mad, and, you know, all I can do is say, hey, you know, I apologize, you know what I mean? But, you know, at the end of the day, this is still a business, and we're still trying to do things in the best fashion as possible. It, you know, it's still a production so, you know, things got to be try to, you know, we try to do things as best as possible. And I try to keep the time as best as possible and and be fair as possible. You know, sometimes maybe it doesn't come off that way. You know, it is what it is. You know, you go back to the Danny and B-Dot. They're like, oh, you let B-Dot rap. Like, no, Danny did. Danny kept saying, let him, let him rap. The MC is saying, let him rap. I'm going to let him rap. You get what I'm saying? Like, if Sane would have been yeah. like, no, let him go, let him go, I probably would have let him go. The only difference with that battle was, I already knew we were coming towards the end of the night, and I was like, damn, we still got this battle, we still got, and we still got uh, uh, Link, Link and, and, uh, and Geechee, you get what I'm saying? And we still had fucking Saint 
and Cannon. So I still had two more battles after that battle. I was conscious of that. So maybe that played a part. I, well, I know for a fact that played a part in me trying to just be like, okay, be right, you know, cut cutthroat on the time for that battle. It's a fucking okay. situation. It, it, it happens. Yeah, oh no, that's a fact. I was uh I wanted to ask you when you are going into I don't know if you can speak on this or not, but like when you're going through the negotiations with the battlers and you're asking them about time, do you guys present them with time limits that you guys want them to have for a battle or do you let the battlers themselves just decide on a time between the two people themselves? No, we let them decide amongst themselves what they want. I mean, it's not we're not going to sit there and do 10-minute rounds or 8-minute rounds, but you know, if it's something doable, if it's if it's the heavier weight guys, and I, I don't really have to say who who the heavier weight guys are, you guys already should already know. But the heavier weight guys, if they ask for four or five minute rounds, then we'll do it because you know we know who can entertain the fucking audience with that kind of time, and we know who cannot. We know the guys that believe they can entertain with that amount of time and are not able to do that, even though in their mind they might believe they can. Like, we look at all that shit, bro. Like, it's very few guys that can actually entertain an audience with that amount of material. So usually, for the most part, the average is about every now and then you'll get four to five minute rounds. Like, you know, if it's like, like say, like I think the Danny and B-Dot, they had agreed like on 4.30 or something like that, you know, around. And they still both went over, you know what I mean? Danny was a little bit closer to the actual time. And Dot went a little bit over and whatnot, but again, crowd reaction and all that. But that was a different venue too, so I was able. That didn't really matter on time, so it wasn't pressed for time on that one. Okay, okay, I heard that. Definitely, again, you know, shout out to y'all releasing the battle. I, I was actually shocked. You know, I'm getting ready to go to sleep. I'm my man. We just go ahead and go to sleep, and then I got the notification. I said, "Well, sleep got to go ahead and get halted for about a good thirty <laughs> minutes." Real quick, right. let me go ahead and share this out here. And then go ahead and watch. It was definitely a dope look. Um, definitely had some good replay value to it. Uh, this is one of the, in my opinion, one of the better Saint performances. Um, and then also just knowing the back and forth that was happening before the battle even took place, it just revved it up that much more for me. And then obviously with Yak, we already know he's one of the better lyricists out here on the West and battle rap period. You already know what you're getting from Yak when he battles. So the battle definitely did turn out the way you know, at least everybody expected it could if they both came on their A game. So definitely got to right, shout you right. guys out for, you know, getting that battle out here to us and giving us some great content. Um, I wanted to ask you, too, because I know we are talking um, off air about the whole entire Western Conference, and they had an entire discussion on Saturday night. And, you know, mainly it was just battlers on here giving a battle of the battler's perspective on the Western Conference, leagues, um, certain things that are done out here, branding and all those things. Um, I want to give you a chance to go ahead and speak on that situation and give your take um, as far as what you listen to from that uh, whole entire show. I mean, give me something specific to touch on. Like what? Like like what? So the first thing I came to my mind is, with URL, we see that, obviously, you were there on stage hosting the event, being a part of that whole entire process with the event. Um, is there, mm-hmm. as far as URL, are they, I don't want to say co-signing, but, like, what is the relationship with URL as far as LA Battlegrounds is concerned? I mean, they invited us to be a part of their event, just like King of the Dot invited us to be a part of it. no more than that. That's it. I mean, I don't know about no oh. co-signs or none of that. I mean, we do what we do, and that's it. You know what I mean? And uh, and and you know, and again, like, and that's not that's not saying that's nothing bad. I mean, shit. I mean, I have a relationship with KG and KG, and and also uh, Nestor. Also, you know what I mean? Like, you know, so they work with URL and they fuck with what LA Battlegrounds does does and has been doing and. They're using some of the MCs that are coming from these platforms, just like they had Kevin Prax there because they're using some of the artists that come from the Riot platform. I think it's only right. You know what I mean? You don't you don't just go somewhere and set up shop and don't reach out to people. You get what I mean? Like, that's, that's not how business is done. You feel me? So I think that 
that's that's what they're doing. Just like J Pro reached out from from King of the Dot, you know what I mean, and Organic and those dudes. So you know, what I mean, I think it's a good gesture because they are booking guys and they understand where they're where they're getting those guys from. They're you know they're showing respect because you know they are bigger leagues, but at one time they were starting somewhere. You know what I mean? And I, you know, I would think that they're seeing what we're doing. You know what I'm saying in terms of you know, continuing to cultivate new talent. You know what I'm saying? We like everything for us was grassroots. We didn't, we didn't, we're not, we're not any, we didn't, we never came in. You know, the only people that we used some of their MCs at the, at that time when we first started was guys from daily duels, like I said, and then that class kind of came and went and then a whole new crop of MCs came and another one after that. And another one, there's been like four classes now. So they see that, and, you know, that's the relationship, bro. Like, you know, they reach out. They ask me to co-host. I was like, yeah, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Who, who, who doesn't respect, you know, the URL brand? You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, I heard some, something that was spoken to when, uh, with, with, within the conversation that I wanted to clarify for people. Uh, B-Dot said, you know, he sees us with them. And, you know, he was talking about how he sacrificed his career, not being with, you know, not going through URL. Me and Woods, number one, never told him not to go to URL. That was never – that. let's clear that up. So I, that's how I came off on the show. Like, we told him never to go to URL. That's not what we told him. Our advice to him was not to do URL PG. And, I, and we still stand by that because he doesn't need a URL PG. They know who he is. Who's that, B-Dot? Like, yeah, people know who B Dot is. Okay. Like I don't give a yeah. fuck what nobody says. People know him. Well, Outside Rum Nitty didn't do a PG. Yeah, Rum Nitty I mean, didn't it, do it, a PG. So. No, Rum Diddy did do PGs. He did like two or three of them, didn't he? No. Yes, he did. Rum. Yes, he did. What PG yes, he, he do? did? No, he What's didn't PG? do PGs. He did the traffic cards. He didn't do no. But he did the traffic. Yeah, he didn't he do did no, the traffic, no, and then he did. Didn't he go? Didn't he go to New York and do a PG on a rooftop against somebody? KG would be able to answer that. I don't know, but I thought he did. I thought I, he did. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I don't know. Rum no, in the uh, Av battle, he said in his third round that he did everything without the URL PG. Like, that came out of his mouth. Yeah, so I don't never, know if okay. he did or not. Seen him do a P- I've never seen a okay, PG so, stamp like. Yeah. Okay, so even even better. So that that's that goes and shows that someone can do it without. But Rum com, conform to what they wanted. He's in a contract and he's exclusively over there. He's getting the battles that he wants and so forth and so on. You know what I mean? But I still don't feel Dot needs that. Like he he doesn't. Like he don't. at this point, give him give him a bat give him a real battle or don't. You you get what I'm saying? And you know. Look, King of the Dot came in, and, you know, they reached out. And they're like, hey, you know, because we was originally going to book that Cortez battle because that was B-Dot's original idea. I think he wanted a battle. He said Cortez, and he named a couple other guys. And he, he probably told us the King of the Dot and maybe some other people just, you know, to throw it out there and see who would, who would be able to put the money together and put it together. King of the Dot did that. So he had the battle with Cortez, ended up being a great battle. You know, I was right there front and center, you know, backing him up you know, and, and represent LA Battlegrounds as well. So I wanted to clear that up too. You know what I mean? We never told him not to battle a URL. Go over there, but shit, make them give you a real plate. Don't take their scraps. You know what I mean? Why? Oh, he, you know, I talked to Norbs about that shit too. And I understand this is the thing. And don't, this is the other thing. They have a certain business model of how they run their business. And I can't be mad at that either. Because that's their that's their company. That's how they run it. Then that's what it is. Can I'm not trying to make them change their format, but we did advise Dot. Hey, I wouldn't do a PG, bro, because you don't need the PG. That's disrespectful. They already knew who he was. They knew what he was doing. I don't care if he had four battles, because in those four battles he did, or four battles that they knew over whatnot that were going viral. In those four battles, he did more than a lot of them dudes over there who are only buzzing because of the URL machine. Yep, that's you, you a get, fact. You get what I'm saying? They're only buzzing because they're fact. under that brand. That's it. Over here is something else different that we're building together. You, you get what I'm saying? It was a built. Like, we never, as LABG, we never say we make people in the terms of, like, we made you. We understand the artists have talent. That, that's understood that they have talent. 
You get what I'm saying? And they bring something to the table with that. But when people start saying, like, oh, I made it on my own back and, you know, it was me that did this, well, now you disrespecting people to me. You disrespect not only the people that are putting up all their money for these, these events, because if that was the case and you could just blow up because it was just you alone, well, then why didn't you become, like, some, like street, uh, you could do a, a battle in the street and that shit should blow up if it was just you. No, there was a chemistry that went into a platform, given the platform for the artist and his talent, superb talent, to come do this. Then you have a whole class of people outside of the business, the people that you know work hard to put that together. There's a whole nother, a whole nother audience. I mean, a whole nother class of MCs that came through. Like, we just gonna act like they didn't help build. The brand also, the Young Bees, the Michael Millions, the West Coast Dreads, the the Danny Myers, the, you know what I mean? Like the Daylight, the Actives, the Dre Vicious, the Kid Clutch, the Beast Gatlins. Like, are we so we just gonna overlook everybody that that was also has been building with LA Battlegrounds along the way? Like, you can't you can't say one person did. Now what what I will say is. With the B Dot vs. Danny, that was a hit record. That was our hit record. Now we had we had we had other records that were going gold, and you know what I mean, you know whatnot. They might have gone gold, but that was that was a platinum hit right there. You know what I mean? That was a platinum hit. If you had, if you want to talk like in 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 you know aspects of of like a, making a hit record or whatnot, that was the hit record. So and all so all due respect, you know that that's what it is. But I just never want like I don't want people to. I don't like when people say that because I feel like, you know, it's disrespectful not only to the to, to us as a division, to the hard work we put behind putting these events together, but it's also disrespect to the MCs that came before those MCs, and that ain't cool. We've all worked hard together to get it where it's at. Yeah, no, that, no I definitely hear where you're coming from with that. I definitely understand that that point of it honestly because it does take the entire crop I won't say crop but it does take the entire roster of who you have to go ahead and make the league pop like you can have one person battling but if the other people are flopping then really you don't have you know you're saying you don't have a league it's just one person I do believe that y'all have a nice roster over there that's definitely cultivating mm-hmm. your own talent um I want to mm-hmm. ask you this though because I see this a lot out here on the West, and maybe because it, I'm, I only focus on the West, I don't pay attention that this happens in other regions. But out here, it seems like a lot of leagues use each other's talent, whether it's like, okay, this league's going to use L.A. Battlegrounds battlers, or this league over here is going to use battlers for the riot, or this league over here is going to use all of A-hat battlers. It's like there's a lot of battlers that battle – they have a home league, and then they'll battle everywhere else. Is that something that you yourself support with L.A. Battlegrounds, like the battlers you have, or is that something that you kind of shy away from and say, no, nah, I'd rather you just battle here on our platform? Look, I'll say this. As, as people who are fans that watch this, you guys should know already when you see a battle where that battle should be taking place or where those battles could be taking place based on where you've seen them. So I don't think it's bad. You know, it's, it is what it is, bro. You know, people are going to, people are going to, you know, book talent. You know what I mean? My thing is this, when we started our shit, it was to build something. And that's what we've continued to do. Finding new talent, time in and time out. We're finding new talent from LA, from out of town. It doesn't matter. We're finding new talent. So when you start talking about other leagues, I just feel like when other leagues start popping up or whatnot, at, at that point I'm, I'm looking to see, well, what are they bringing new to this West Coast movement? That That's what I look at. Like what are they being – like P&R in them, like now that I'm kind of a little bit – getting a little bit more familiar with that and shots fired, shout out to them. Like it seems like they're cultivating new talent. Now I don't know if they have something going on in San Diego amongst them with the MCs. I don't know. But it seems like they have new talent of guys that they're that they're you know they're finding new guys. So that's the only thing I say out here. I mean, we want to if we want a real movement, you know, find new talent, find new talent, and then we can continue to build the West. Like 
all this, oh, West don't need to battle West, like, how does that make sense? Do you think the East got popping by not battling each other? Like, it doesn't matter if it was a West Coast thing or not, bro. People are paying attention to it now. It's still a niche market either way. And it's, it's a smaller demographic in L.A., especially on the urban side. On the urban side, it's much smaller than, like, say, the, I mean, I don't want to make it like that, but, like, a KOTD event brings way more people. But it's because of their audience. They cater more to, like, kind of Mexican and white, and then you have a sprinkle of, like, you know, blacks here and there, you know, but it's not, it ain't like an LABG event. LABG event is a little bit rougher. You know what I mean? Everybody's kind of always has a good time, but shit, you think we're not always looking around and just making sure everybody's good? Because we know what kind of element is in there, but we're trying to do something positive. And thank yeah. God in five years we haven't, in five years we haven't had no incident. Thank God. You know what I mean? Everything's been cool. So, you know, that that's all I say, man. Like, you know, I, I just think, I mean, it is what it is. The other thing is, too, a lot of that shit of, of the MCs going to different platforms and doing battling this person, that person, that's on them. That's on them and what they and, and the moves they make. But then they wonder why they stagnate themselves, too. They, they start, you know, and, and, and any rapper can oversaturate himself, bro. Anybody can oversaturate themselves. So at that point, at that point, it becomes what moves is he making? You get what I'm saying? So, you know, well, like so say, how he, many? So what you think about how many? What's the what's the largest amount of battles you think? Um, like within a year? I know last year DNA did like 23, some shit like that. I know that is. Oversaturating yourself, but what's the number? And what is his value right now? You see well, what I'm saying? I, I say for for DNA, I think, the, and this is something that Grizz has said. And I, I, when it comes to the oversaturation, I completely agree with what he said. It depends on the battle rapper. Like it's not a set thing where everybody has to adhere to it because DNA took 23 battles last year. Only four of them were battles that people will say, okay, I could go back and watch it, or were big battles. And it didn't hurt yeah, his stock yeah, because, because a lot of the battles that he took were smaller leagues that just wanted to book a name, and he was the name who would go ahead and do it. For him, he has a style where he can go ahead and write and memorize fast. So he could take a battle every other week, and it won't affect him because yeah, he knows also- sponsors are going to want him on Gnome and Summer Madness. Yeah, but he yeah, exactly, but he exactly. He's a whole another brand in himself too. But honestly, his popularity to me is not what it was a couple of years ago. I don't That's hear people talking about D, I don't hear people talking about DNA. All I hear about right now is Mike P and Av, K Rock. I don't hear nobody talking about DNA. So that that's my point. You can oversaturate yourself even at that level. You're still a brand, so he's still going to get booked. Ain't nobody talking about that, but you can still oversaturate yourself. How many battles a year should you take? I don't know. Without I mean, that over, depends on the oversaturating art. yourself. That, that depends on the artist and what kind of level battles he's taking. No, in your that opinion, is, like if you look at somebody, we're like, well, you taking too many battles. Like, for you, your opinion, like, if I was, like, I, let's say if I did, like, I, myself, you was watching me, I did set, I was doing seven battles. Do you in think a seven battles what, a, a year? year? In a year. No, because, Is that no, because you can, o- no, you can, no, cause, no, you can spread that out. Seven's not too bad. You can kind of spread that out. And if your brain works that way and you can memorize and give great performances, all seven, all seven battles. Then I say go for it. But if you messing up for, or you giving half-ass performances, or you recycling bars and shit like that, like then you don't need to be doing right. that. You don't need yes, to be doing that because it, it because it's obvious that you know it, it it's too much. So at that point, fall back. Just give your best performances. Give take the best matches you can take that you think are the best for you, and keep it moving, and you will progress. Right. 
Yeah, I agree with you, though. I agree with you there. I was just asking because I know when people say, you know, oversaturation, I just want to know their opinion of what is oversaturation for a battler. But you broke it down both ways. Like, you know, with with the DNA, DNA always come prepared. It doesn't matter if he did 23 battles last year or not. There's nothing that he didn't, I don't think he stumbled or choked. He came with yeah, complete because rounds. the thing about the thing about he, DNA, he, he also, he also like can freestyle, and he can freestyle. Yeah, he mixes freestyles with written. Danny Myers is a class act of and a, and a and a perfect case of somebody that can write and rarely repeats anything he said before. It's always new. Geechee's the same way, if you ask me. B dot's the same way. You're not going to hear the same material. I mean, in a battle anyway. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that, that's, you know, I think the proof is right there in, in, in how to take battles, man. Like, look at Dot, man. Mm-hmm. He, came, he came in, he did the Fijiosa battle. That one did cool. Then the strict battle came. He fucking, that one went viral. That one went bananas. Then he did the daylight joint, you know, was what it was. Daylight didn't necessarily come as daylight, but, you know, it was enough for D- B-Dot to do what he had to do. Numbers went up again. Then we had the then we had the, the the classic, you know what I mean? Which I think changed a lot of people's dynamic and view of the West Coast from that battle, at least for for the time being. You know what I'm saying? With him right. and Danny. You know, and since right. then, you know, he took he took the Cortez battle. People are still talking about B Dot all the time, bro. I still see it. They're bringing up his name because they want to see him. But it's because mm-hmm. he's given them what they want. And he's not battling just anybody. And when he comes, he comes and he gives you 150%. So you're going to, mm-hmm. regardless if it's a hard battle or not, you know what I'm saying? Because that Cortez battle was a lot harder than people probably thought. But, shit, you know, he, he, he showed why he, yeah, he showed why he deserved to be there. I like that Cortez. Yeah, I like that Cortez yeah. and B-Dot battle. Yeah, bro, shit was a fire battle, bro. You know, but but I, I yeah. feel B-Dot showed why he belonged to be there, you know? Why, why, why he belonged there, you know what I mean? Like, he belonged there, yeah. you know what I mean? He, belo- he belongs there. And that's why, I, I you know, mm-hmm. I go back to the whole PG shit. You know, he don't need to do no damn PG. But I'll give yeah. you one more question, just, man, and then I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a have to get off this line. So give me one more question, baby. Okay. Hey, uh, Yak, are you on the line right now? Yo, what's good? I forgot what I'm going to ask now, man. I mean, I, I, I I forgot what the fuck I want to ask trash now. Shit, man. God damn it. I smoke too much weed. I forget, I forget shit so goddamn fast, bro. Like, and I, I just had a question. Like two, two, like, like two minutes ago, I had a fucking question, bro. Now this nigga let me on. I'm like, fuck. I forgot what I was going to ask the dude, man. You're a choke. <laughs> My bad, trash. Choking, man. No, I saw it. It's all but, good. Um, this nigga. But um, let me let, let me let me end on this one because I, I want to get your opinion from a league owner's perspective. We had sixty five hundred and plus Co-f- on the line, and they were Co-f- talking about co-founder. Co-founder. Oh, say say that one more yeah, time. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Shout out uh, to my nigga uh, Woods, man. I can't forget about my nigga Woods, man. Yeah, league. league your... I, I'm a league. I'm a league co-founder. Ownership. Oh, okay, ownership okay, gotcha. means something. Owner, ownership, CEO, all that shit means something else. I'm a co-founder, and yes, this is our company, but co-founder. <laughs> Go ahead. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. As a co-founder of a league that's prominent out here on the West, I want to get your yeah. take on um, the comments made by 6500 and philosophy. Their thought process <laughs> was they wanted to have something branded out here for the entire West region where – People can get paid to go to other leagues. They can send people out to other leagues. Have something almost like a, a battle battle rap union for the West, where the battlers mm-hmm. are always taken care of, travel, all those type of things. Are you are you from your perspective as somebody who, you know, co-founder, somebody who makes those decisions um, and has input on those decisions with a league? What's your take on that? Do you think that's a good thing? Do you think that's something that's needed, or are you against that? I say do it. Don't just talk about it. Do it. Hmm. Facts. I like the. I like that. I like that. Don't just talk about it. Shit. Feel me. My issue with the whole shit was 
the whole Western Conference shit. It's like, at the end of the day, y'all didn't start, them niggas didn't start that, feel me? I'm not, I'm not, I don't give a fuck about them starting up. Like, the whole idea, it sounds good, but at the end of the day, like, my thing is 6,500, you have a lot of great ideas, but niggas just do it. Like Mikey said, my niggas, like, like I, I, Look, I just said, bro, like, it sounds good, but are you going to fucking, nigga, do the shit, you feel me? Don't just talk about some shit, be about it. And I'm gonna tell y'all something. Right. And this not, and this ain't, this ain't no gas, bro. There's a reason why Yak has a certain level of respect for me. Even when he yelled, at, you know, he was yelling, we was back and forth. There's a level of respect to what he does with me, and that's because Yak knows I know a lot of the shit that goes on behind the scenes. I knew about him hooking up the, 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 the whole thing with the, with the fucking film on, dude. I knew about that shit before he even knew I knew about that. I talked to Lush about that. And I had talked to him about why didn't why didn't they get yak on it? And they have their reasons like they can they can answer their own for themselves. They grown men, but that's just true. I heard the Western Conference shit. I thought I heard yak and them saying it first. Now I see it's a movement. That's cool. You know what I mean? But you know, motherfuckers got to give credit where credit is due. You can't just start running with shit, bro. Like you know what I mean? It, it, you, I, that's the one thing I don't like, bro. That's the one thing, you know. And that's the whole thing, you know, and this is the other thing. Like, sometimes I'm going to just keep it a buck. I feel as L.A. Battlegrounds and everything that we do, I feel like it's a disrespect when they say, oh, we need this, we need that. What the fuck are we doing over here? What Facts. do you guys think we're trying to do over here? Facts, it, it may be, Maybe just because you don't want to put the L.A.B.G. Shit. brand for whatever, for whatever fucking reason, personal reason or personal, you know, motivation or desires or whatever you have as individuals. If it's about the West, it shouldn't matter. It should be about, you know, you have a platform. You have people putting money up to put these events on. So at that point, what, what are we talking about? Because you have that. You already have that. So I, I, don't, know, I don't know what else to say. But you know what I mean? It is what it is. You know what I mean? Like, one thing that I'll say, you know, that, that, that me and Woods and Doc always say, bro, the show must go on. We don't stop. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep putting our events. We're gonna keep That's making a fact, ma- make it. One thing I can on say matches. about LA Battlegrounds, like nigga, I've, I feel like I've been here. Like I wasn't in, in the first flock of MCs, but I definitely feel like I've seen this shit from the beginning. I've been around from the beginning, so like I've seen a lot Damn of niggas here. come and go. I've seen a lot of niggas come and go. Niggas come back. All that shit. Like this, this is my first battle on LA Battlegrounds in four years. You feel me? I've seen so many MCs, my nigga. Like they 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 help a lot of motherfuckers. Like, that's, that's a fact. A lot of niggas gain, gain fucking um, profiles off L.A. Battlegrounds. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's a lot. It's, it's some, some motherfuckers loyal. Like, one thing I can say about L.A. Battlegrounds, it's a fact. If you loyal to their platform, they definitely going to build your brand. They going to give you the looks you need. That's a fact. Look at, look at niggas like Link. Niggas like even Fiji. Niggas like Fiji. Fucking Saint now. You know what I'm saying? Like, fucking um, Trick. You know what I'm saying? B Dot. Like, if you go to that brand, bro, like, at one point, yeah, my million was that nigga. You know what I'm saying? I watched nigga. I watched nigga. Them go from Sir, Sir Capo being that nigga, you know what I'm saying, to my cap million, to Young B. Like, I've seen the different stages. And I've seen the elevation, too. Like, you know what I'm saying? I remember the, the events was, like, it wasn't barely no street niggas at the, event, at, the, at the venue. You know what I'm saying? Like, you see a lot of deadly dudes motherfuckers at LA Battlegrounds events. You know what I'm saying? Like, we had street niggas there for sure, but it wasn't predominantly street niggas. Now, it's predominantly street motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? You got a, a good mixture of everybody in the crowd now. You know what I'm saying? They're getting different venues, bigger venues, way more people. The production is better. The fucking, like, these niggas, these niggas hooked the mic up to me, bro. I've ne- I never battled with a mic. Like, I'm on, I am battle Saint nigga with a mic, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I fuck with that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love that shit, my nigga. And I, and I fuck with LA Battlegrounds, my nigga, to this day, because they the first niggas who gave me my shot, bro. It was my first battle ever. They get out the past book. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with them niggas to this day. Because and that. with that being said, August 26th, Cali Heat, Super Caliente card, baby. Yak the Ripper versus Link. Get ready. Facts. We put a troll that nigga life away. Get ready. <laughs> He's going to troll his life away. <laughs> that, Get that, ready. That's it's it's, it it's going to start soon. It's going to start soon. Get ready. <laughs> I got to build my angle for this nigga first, man. I got to build my angle. Then I'm going to start trolling this nigga life away. <laughs> Nah, right, man, I'm, so start, I'm, start, I'm, starting, I'm starting to take shit different now, man. I look at battles different now, man. I got I to gotta fight. I got to start to fight from as soon as the nigga tell me I'm booked, nigga, till the end of the shit, till, till the round three is over. You feel me? I feel that. We good, Nico? But, uh, 
Oh, yes, sir. Hey, once again, King, I appreciate you calling up, man, taking the time out to just chop it up with us, man. You already know, as always, man, anytime you want to come up on here and debate or, you know, plug anything or just anything going on, man, just anytime, call up, King. You're welcome here anytime. And and if anybody starts calling or has questions or whatever, bro, we can always do that where I'll call up and anybody who got anything to ask or say or whatever, uh, it's fine. You know what I mean? I'll call up. You know what I mean? Hey, man, we gotta get Woods on the line, man. We gotta get Woods on the line one of these days, man. I mean, all you gotta hey. do is get in his inbox. You know, you know he hates hey, so doing hold that on. shit. But, but Trez, what's crazy is, Trez, I, Trez, 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 I have to. Go ahead. I, I, I have to, I have to ask this question, man, because it, 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 it's a little satire, but I have to ask because people keep asking: Are Woods and Trez the same person? Because allegedly they've never seen <laughs> you two at the same place at the same time. It's been put out there by the battlers; they don't know. What, what, what's the story with Woods and Trez, man? Man, people that have been around, people like Yak, they know, man. They know the truth. That's what I'll say. They know the truth. <laughs> hey, hey, I ain't going to lie. Woods, hey, listen, Woods, Woods low-key booked majority of my battles. Like, I got a relationship with Alcatraz. He booked my first battle. But a lot of my battles, like, Woods be in my inbox like, nigga, I got this nigga for you. You feel me? Like, interview, that's fine. I fuck with Woods. That's the homie. And I, 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 I even got a tool with that nigga before. But that's the OG, my nigga. I fuck with that nigga. Right. But yeah, Cam, appreciate you coming on, man. Look forward to having you back on here soon. Yes, sir. Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate you guys, man. And make sure you tell them the story of how we how, how that Peel Your Cap radio came out. <laughs> oh, man. I, I I owe that idea strictly to Alcatraz, man. Y'all heard it here first, man. All That's right, Cam. We're going to chop it up. Y'all be, y'all be, y'all be. All right, Cam. All right, peace.